Disability will affect everyone at some point in their life. We all have a stake in it. We need allies. And it's a journey for everyone, no matter where you enter. Nothing about us without us. So I know I, growing up, didn't see anyone that looked like me, representation in terms of disability. So how about you, like, when it comes to representation? Well, I didn't notice because I assumed Maybe people with disabilities had no interest in being actors. There wasn't an opportunity. But yeah, that's the problem. It just takes getting familiar. Mm -hmm. And it is weird, you know, you don't notice until you notice. You don't know who it's leaving out, just the visual. In all the different ways that we're represented, I think it's being able to see our whole selves. That's what we need. I was nervous around people that mm -hmm. I felt um, were fragile. My issue is my own fear that I would hurt someone, do the wrong thing. You cannot get a comfort level unless you have experience or any guidebook. And that's what Google and is so doing. And so this is what Google right? is doing. I'm so thrilled, I'm so heartened, and I so hope that people take advantage of it in the way that I learned to take advantage of your wisdom. I, I wrote a book, and I was talking about labels in the book, and all these things that are put on you, and I'm like, wait, this, this just isn't me. And it was myself that gave myself the disabled label mm -hmm. in an Instagram post. And I could do that easily because I didn't have to deal my whole life. My whole life was trying to prove to someone that there was, that I needed a certain you needed support. Support. Your needs are needs. And, and have our conversations about our needs. And, and we have different ones, different days, and some days I might need help eating, and other days I don't. Some days you might need a mobility device. And when someone suggested someone recently, like, you might want to think about getting a scooter. It'll make your day easier for energy, whatever, like, just to use that sometimes if you need. And I was very resistant. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, because I thought I'd be made fun of, because people know I can walk, mm -hmm. even though I really could use that. I would get out so much more. There's a community here, there's a culture, there's experiences, there's supports. You deserve to live your life. Can you give us an example of something that you learned from the playbook? There's changes anybody can make today. What words are, you know, hot button ones that mm -hmm. we can retire, like mm -hmm. simple things. But that's this Google playbook, like, you don't have to go knocking on anyone's door, but it will also make it much easier to yes. start having conversations and you will feel equipped. Even in my book, I wrote wheelchair bound, which is, you know, a term that doesn't sound fun. It sounds pretty powerless, but that was my mindset then and I kept it in, but also to be able to have this conversation of like, this is how I spoke. Yes. Or how my mother spoke, mm -hmm. but it just further alienates us from each other. Yeah. Wheelchair sitting. user is preferred. Yeah, I'm not actually bound. But it, language has evolved in the embracing of the identity, but it is a journey. So in the community, the disability community, we have this phrase, nothing about us without us. My world is so much better for knowing and trusting people in the disability community. That's good. And that's the first step, yep. to st starting that conversation, looking through the resources. This is a great source, and I'm so grateful that you've helped pave this way and that Google is putting it out there. Like, yeah. welcome to this. There is this conversation happening, people. Exactly. And, and join the conversation. And I want people to know it can be funny and fun and awkward. And, you join know, it. you've done that for me. You welcome me as a human being, oh. period. That is what we all want.